lovelies and we're back welcome so this is our little supplementary video to our alpaca yarn company trunk show video and because i wanted to show you all these pretties that just came from beth this is the extra box of missing colorways of asparal and also we've got some uh marikita hidden at the bottom of this pile in the mushroom colorway so let's start here at the top. So this is a spiral in undyed white. And what is this one called? Or is it not called anything because it's white? It looks like it's not called anything because it's just white, but it's a lovely. So Beth sent this because she also sent me uh, an email with a pattern idea for the espiral. So this is this really cool Divin Mystery Cow. That's Divin M-K-A-L cowl c-o-w-l uh which is available for purchase on ravelry here's my printed out version so you can see like isn't that cool how that is so and this is with uh white espiral and uh multi one of the dyed ones so how cool is that or one of the ones that's not white because certainly you could do white with one of the natural tunnels and it would also come out pretty awesome. So I just wanted to show like how cool this is. So we'll put a link to this pattern on the Trunk Show website, which is lovelyarns.com forward slash AYC. So let's take a look at this yarn. So here it is in white, which is crazy soft. It's so insane. Like, look how soft it is. I mean, you can see it's just silky soft goodness scrumptious okay so there's six of those and actually we have 12 of each colorway because they do comes in that they do come in bags of six and she sent us two bags of each colorway which was great so that way we have enough for sweaters if you want to do a larger project and then here's the next color of the undyed so you know like if, here's our wall look and we sold through a bunch of stuff already you can tell so see the cool colors like the blue curacao up there? That is this colorway over dyed in blue. So, and this is really beautiful. This is one of the colorways that's named after one of the cities in Peru. This one is Barranca. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's like white and black and shades of gray. And that's gonna come out awesome. God, what a great sweater that would be. <laughs> Like all of it makes a great sweater. Who are we kidding? And then the next we've got, so this is, before we look at this baby, let's look at this. So if you remember from our interview video, this is Arequipa. And this is the one that's like white and shades of brown and taupe. So remember, I think Beth said that alpacas come in a range of 16 different colors, which is a lot. And this has a few of them and it's so pretty. And then she said because she wanted to make the striping patterns even more random and wild, they combined the Barranca and the Arequipa to create this base. And isn't that really pretty? I love these colors, these natural ones. They're so awesome. This one is Cusco. Look how pretty that is. This is gonna be like really great holiday gifts. Um, you know, my husband shrunk his alpaca hat that I made from a few years ago. So this looks like it might be in his future. Look at that. I love it. It's like shades. It's like white and caramel and chocolatey brown with black and gray. It's just, it's everything all twisted together. And so we have those. And then of course we've got all the pretty multi hand dyes. So instead of just, um, single color tonals. This one is the carnival colorway. So which we've seen on the Marikita and on the halo. So here's carnival, which is on the, it looks like it's on the, um, not the Cusco base, but it looks like it's on this base on the Arequipa base. And then it was over dyed on here because you can see, oh, maybe it is on the Barranca. It looks like it might be on the Barranca because look, it's sort of like everything. And then the carnival colorway is blue with red and yellow and green. It's, you know, like happy fun carnival rainbow. So this is gonna be variegated and stripey. So really fabulous. Look how pretty they all are. And then they come out like totally random. But how cool would that be? Let me grab a white one. So you could pair this, you could pair these together 
to do that awesome cowl, which is this, right? So, and these guys, again, are like 24 each. They're so soft, oh my gosh. Can't stop touching it because it's ridiculously soft. Okay, and then the next color wave, so then this one is Nebula. So this is like purples. This looks like it also is on the Cusco, Cusco colorway. So this is Nebula, and this is more purples more cool tones. So purple, blue, teal, a little bit of pinky pinky. Like, look at that. Like, who doesn't love that? That's so pretty. I just see this like coming up as like hats and mittens. Um, so that's Nebula and it's, yeah, see, it's like you get an overall sense of purple or like a overall sense of violet is what you get from the Nebula. So then moving on, and now I've got this, look at this pile. <laughs> She's got piles of yarn. Love it. So, and then besides the nebula, lastly, look at this. This is Atlantis. And this is definitely more teal, like cool water. You know, perfect for your underwater city, underwater mythical city. And this too has some of those pinks. Isn't that a great colorway? It's just super fun and bright. So I wonder if when we were up visiting Beth, if uh, Tasha wasn't dyeing the nebula colorway. Cause it certainly did look like it was more purple in her vat, in her dye pot. Gosh, aren't they pretty? <gasps> oh, I want them all, I want them all. So soft and smooshy. And then lastly, of course, we've got Marikita in mushroom, which is a really nice neutral tone. This would make a, like, a really pretty summer top. There's, um, I think there's like this French designer has like this really pretty brown yoke pullover that's got some moving pattern. But here you go. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy stitching.